From Europe to the US, coal is under fire. Environmentalists are circling, mines and power plants are closing. Even big corporations say it's not worth the trouble. We used to make money with coal, but this is not happening anymore. Are these the dying days for coal? And what's going to happen to mining communities? We're going to the coal face to find out. Almost every week there's a new international call to ban investment or even phase out the industry completely. And that's going to ramp up at the UN Climate Conference in Glasgow that's being billed as the last chance to save the planet. But where does all that leave the miners, their families, their towns that rely on coal for their livelihood and purpose? Well, we're going to explore two communities on different sides of the world that are at that crossroads and they're taking very different paths. In the US, we visit the town of West Frankfurt, where miners put their faith in Donald Trump to save them. We are putting our great coal miners back to work. He didn't. In fact, there's been more coal miners laid off while he was president. But with few alternatives, they're hanging on to Old King Coal. Yes, I'm proud to be a coal miner. <laughs> I'm running the Old King Coal Festival because I still believe in the values of the coal mines. But we start in Spain, where the government made deals with unions to close the entire industry. 